My name is Maggie Kerrigan and I rescue unwanted books. I take books that people don't want anymore and I cut them and carve them and fold them and sculpt them and turn them into works of art so that they have a brand new life. I was a, a painter for about 20 years working in water media and I stumbled across a book artist that's in Scotland who was creating artworks out of books and then secretly placing them in the libraries to try to encourage public support for the public library system. And that just sparked an interest in me. I'm a former teacher. I have an attic full of children's books from my teaching days and so I decided why not have some fun with that? So I got some of my books down and started playing around with making sculptures out of them. And, um, and then I would gradually start seeing something else. I saw a picture of a book in Reader's Digest that an artist had folded. So I started playing around with that to see if I could figure out how to do it. Then I started carving them and doing more sculptures. And um, I just really feel like I found my voice with working with the books in a way that I couldn't do with just a paintbrush. I've actually had quite a bit of fun with this. When I was first starting, I didn't really see this as an art form that I was gonna continue with. I felt like I was just having fun making these books and experimenting a lot. And I started to wonder, what am I gonna do with all these things, um, all these pieces that I'm making? So I took the you know, play from that Scottish, Scottish artist playbook. And I, once I had enough pieces together, I started taking them over to the different libraries around Virginia Beach and leaving them in the libraries anonymously with a little note with, you know, why the libraries are so important, why we need to support them, why, you know, why we need them in our community. I had no idea. I thought that was just gonna be a little fun thing that I did on my own, but I had no idea how excited that the library community would get about it. So I found out after the third book that I left behind, there was an article in the newspaper about it. Um, they had immediately connected it to the artist over in Scotland and what had been going on in Scotland. And they were, you know, saying, I think we have a copycat in our midst and this is so exciting. When I got on the phone with her and admitted that I was the person that had done the art, she went nuts. She was like, she wouldn't even let me talk. She was like, get out, you're kidding me. You wouldn't believe how exciting this is. Every time one shows up, everybody's on email. It goes out to the whole library system. Everyone's so excited about this. And so apparently it made this huge impact within our, we have 10 libraries in Virginia Beach and it just made this really big positive impact on the libraries. 